Hey everybody, we got a mail call today. This one comes to us from Craft Holsters. This is a uh, holster that I got for my Beretta 81. As you can see, nothing in the mag, nothing in the chamber. Gun clear, empty, hammer down, on safe. Anyway, Beretta 81. Uh, there's a bunch of reviews online on these right now. This is one of the surplus ones, like uh, Tim at Military Arms Channel. A uh, bunch of people have got them. Anyway, really good gun. Really good videos out there on it. I highly recommend you going and getting one of these guns. Uh, if you have any questions, go look at those other videos. Anyway, that's the gun. And this is Craft Holsters. Now, I... Uh, Reached out to Kraft to see what they might have for the 81, and it come to find out they carry a good looking leather inside the waistband tuckable holster. So, without further ado, packaging comes in a box, tells you about it a little bit there, uh, padded package, and then the holster itself. So, let's see here. Leather's good and soft, uh, pliable. Holds the gun well. And I can only imagine it will get better as it gets a little bit of wear in it and kind of molds itself with a little bit of body heat. A little bit of time, a little bit of sweat molds itself to it. Let's try her on and see. So this is their uh, tuckable leather holster. Oh, golly, that snap is tough. Okay, there we go. Uh, try putting it on without undoing the belt. There we go, lift up the little tab. You lift up the little tab, it's got the button. Get underneath. Snaps in place. Find the sweet spot. The uh, butt of the gun is showing a little bit, the handle, but this is a pretty form-fitting t-shirt. Probably not a fair shirt for it to be in, to tell the truth, because uh, anything else I wear probably be a little bit looser. But you can see, does a pretty good job, like I said, even in this uh, form-fitting shirt. Let's practice a couple of draw strokes. belt a little bit. There we go. Okay. Yeah, uh, comfort's there. Uh, sitting down, crossing. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty comfortable. Uh, I'm gonna wear it today, going around town, running my errands. 
and gonna take it out and do a little bit of shooting with it tomorrow. So uh, we'll just see, just have to see tomorrow how it handles. But uh, comfort wise so far, just putting it on is not bad. Um, I'll wear it around town. I gotta go uh, run some errands, uh, pick up feed for the chickens, stuff like that. So I'll not really active, but not really just gonna be sitting around either. Uh, anyway, first impressions. Uh, Oh, I didn't try tucking it in. Let's try tucking it in since they call it their tuckable holster. So. It's gonna kind of stand out against my belt being brown, but if you had a brown belt, especially a brown leather belt, that wouldn't stand out hardly at all. People would have to look for it. And uh, if you were to move your belt over, where this could be on the side that your flap's on, they might even think it was some sort of a holder for your, the flap of your uh, belt. But uh, anyway, that's the uh, unboxing. First impressions of the uh, Kraft Tuckable Inside the Waistband holster for the Beretta 81. Uh, I like it so far. I'm usually not a leather guy, so uh, got a little bit of learning to do probably on it. Uh, but yeah, seems to work. You need to take it off without taking off your belt. Just pop the button, untuck. Draw it out, button it back if you need to, or leave it unbuttoned for the next time. When you don't have it on, that button, that snap, man, that is a good strong snap. I don't think that dude's going anywhere once you get it on there. Anyway, let's have a little bit of a close-up look of it. Take the gun out. It's marked uh, Falco on the back. And this was sent to me from uh, Craft Holsters. It's their uh, tuckable inside the waistband. Anyway, there you go. With the gun. All right, now let's just get some fitment, wearing it around, and uh, see how I like it. Okay, uh, this is the third shirt that I've uh, tried. Uh, technically, I guess the fourth shirt. Uh, I had the green one on at the beginning. And I tried three other shirts, all of them to try to hide the uh, butt of the gun sticking out. Uh, I went with this big graphic tee, and it's just, for my body shape, this holster is not working very well. I mean, it sticks out. Let me show you there. You can see kind of how far out it sticks off of the body. And using a graphic tee to try to hide it. But you can still, when I move around, I mean, you can still see it. It's, uh, I'm still going to wear it to town today. And, uh. Give it a go, check the comfort, but for right now, the uh, fitment with my uh, body shape, it's just not working real well. Anyway, the camera is not just, just not doing it justice on just how far this thing sticks out. It's just not, uh, not showing up on camera the way it does in real life. Uh, it's sticking out enough that it kind of makes me uncomfortable walking around because, uh, I know no one's going to say anything, and besides in Arkansas, we do have constitutional carry. So I could carry open if I want, but I don't want to stick out. That's the whole reason why I carry conceal. But anyway, uh, moving around, shopping, it, maybe I'm just paranoid, but it sticks out way more than any of mine.
Well guys, after one trip to the range and wearing the uh, craft holster for one full day, unfortunately for me and for my body style, my body shape, I cannot recommend this holster. Um, first off, it caused the butt of the pistol to stick out too far away from the body, which always put a big lump in the front of my shirt. Um, number two, as soon as you pull the gun out of the holster, this happens. Totally collapses shut. There's no reinforcement in there. I mean, and the little sweat shield just flips over. How are you supposed to reholster that? I mean, it's super comfortable. But the reason that makes it comfortable is the reason why it doesn't work. And that's that the leather's too soft. And I mean, I give it a sad face. Sorry, I just can't recommend this. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching me shoot. And, uh, it is what it is, guys. This is not a good holster. You can't, this, this can't be used. I just, I, I don't think this is, I don't think this is safe and or dependable enough for you to depend your life on.